Good morning. Romans chapter 8, verses 17 through 23 says, And since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse, the fall. But with eager hope, the creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up until the present time. And we believers also groan, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory. Now, take just a moment and think of some of the things that people groan and complain about. <laughs> you know, old age, aches and pains, bills, money, the jobs, a complaint about disobedient kids or overbearing parents or unfaithful spouses, complain about hot weather, cold weather, mosquitoes, Ticks, snakes, politics. And those two are kind of tied close together, I think. But they'll complain about all kinds of things. But think of this with me. How many of these issues will be resolved with the coming of Christ? How many of these things will be righted when he returns? Well, probably all of them. It might seem simplistic to blame all of this on the fall of humanity, but there is at least some correlation. Here in Romans chapter 8, it says, The creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. All of creation has been subjected to to the fall of humanity. But there is a day when all of that will be rectified. The world we live in is fallen, and we can always find some imperfection to complain or groan about, no matter how big or small. There's always something there for us to point at and groan about. But we can't forget that we are Children of God, we are heirs of his future glory. And if for a period of time we have to share in his suffering, the suffering of living in a fallen world, just as Christ did, if we have to share in his suffering so that we can also see the hope of future glory and share in that, it's okay. What we suffer now, verse 18, is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. Our hope is tied up in Christ, his return, and him taking us home. This fallen world will always have something that we can complain about. But let's never lose sight of the promised glory that is in front of us. Pray with me. God, thank you that you have provided already a home in heaven where there will be no more pain, no more sorrow, where you will wipe every tear from our eyes. 
so we don't have to worry about old age or aches or pains any longer. Lord, I pray that you would help us to remember the promise that you have given even while we live in the midst of a fallen world. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.